I follow Benjamin Cohen and he heeded a warning about buying altcoins, suggesting they could drop another 90% and saying many altcoins will die during a bear market. Your thoughts? So uh, I follow Benjamin Cowan too. I, I followed him for quite some time now. He is a very educated man. He has you know a, a very established degree um, doing physics and whatnot. Um, now his models that he follows there, first of all, everything that he invests in is like primarily Bitcoin and ETH. So he doesn't even mess with most of the altcoins to begin with. And out of the altcoins that he does deal with, he only deals with the large cap. So he doesn't even dabble in a lot of the projects that uh, a lot of people talk about that end up doing really, really well and see huge returns. Uh, he's an incredibly concerned conservative investor, but he's very close to a Bitcoin maximalist. Uh, he looks at a lot of two-week charts. He follows a lot of log logarithmic uh, growth curves, uh, kind of like Plan B does, which can be like very easily stretched out and violated over long periods of time as long as you get to your target. Um, and he's also looking for a ridiculous rise in dominance. So he thinks that like the bottom drop in dominance for Bitcoin is done. He's looking for a rise in Bitcoin dominance towards the 60% levels. He thinks that like we're going to see a lot worse here. Um, now. I do follow plenty of other analysts, right? Now, Blockchain Backer, for example, thinks that we're near a bottom. And he showed many examples of what different bottoming structures have looked like in the past. And it does show that maybe we have one more move to the downside, to which altcoins would, of course, get hurt significantly. Um, but that would be a bottoming move there. And I was just talking to Kevin Cage a few days ago. Uh, and we were sharing some looks. And we're kind of on the same page with, you know, hey, it looks like we're making a lot of the same bottoming structures. Of course, you know, another big move down for alts is possible. But I think it's really bold to look at this data that we have right now and say, we're going to see Bitcoin dominance rise to 65%. We're going to see altcoins drop 90%. Um, and as far you, as- Altcoins are already down 80% as it is. Right. You know? And that's historically generally what we see there, right? So I, I think that it's an overly pessimistic and bearish outlook. Uh, like I said, I do respect him because he puts a lot of time and effort into his research there. But just understand that there's a lot of people that I follow and trust out there that have very differing opinions right now. And that generally happens when we're making some sort of bottoming structure, whether the exact bottom is in or not, uh, because there's a lot of conflicting opinions out there. But I don't think any of the picks that we have in there in our current coin library are bad projects that are going to die. Um, his reference to, you know, are these coins going to to die are, are the projects that never should have been around to begin with. Lots of meme coins are going to die. A lot of them are going to get cleared out with regulation. We're going to see plenty of projects fall flat on their face, um, which is why we have to be particular with what we picked. I don't feel uh, concerned with anything that's in my portfolio right now that it's going to absolutely fail. It's just going to correct with the market or flourish with the rest of the market.